Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, today we're going to talk about you cannot change a man. Okay, you cannot change a man. Before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to the family subscribers that have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate all of you. So, um, I have a few letters today uh, that will address this message. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your questions. So, at the end of the video, I will show you a link where you can send in your questions and I will answer them for you. Okay, so now let's get started here. You can't change a man. Okay, now being a woman, because we are emotional creatures and we are very caring and loving creatures, you see, we feel like our love can change a man. To be a better person. You see. This, this is the point. You feel like he's not quite what you want. But through your love. And understanding. And caring. He will want to change. This is a misnomer. This, this is. No. This is a misunderstanding. Men don't change. Unless they decide. That they want to change. And most times, it has nothing to do with you. And there's nothing that you can do to change him. You see, a man is who he is. Now, you know, if it's a young boy, he, he will change over time. But if he's a grown man, and if he is an older man, he is definitely not trying to change. Now what men will do, they'll come into your life and try to change you. And many women comply to this because they want, you know, they want to keep the man. So they are willing to change when the man won't. The man won't. He will continue to treat you the way that you allow him to. You understand? Did you hear what I said? The way that you will allow him to. You see, it's really free will, your choice, what you accept from a man. And uh, just to let you know now, I'm spiritual. So I'm going to speak to you from a spiritual perspective. See, whatever you accept in your life, the divine will give you more of it. Because the divine wants you to be happy. You understand? So if you accept bad treatment in your life, the divine isn't going to say, oh, well, that's bad treatment. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give her more of that. No. It's up to you. Whatever you accept is what you'll get. You'll get more of it. More of that. You understand? Because the divine wants you to be happy. So you're telling the divine, I'm happy. I'm happy. Now, let, let me break this down to you. Let's suppose that you are in a relationship that is violent. You are being abused violently. You understand? If you don't leave it, you're telling the divine, it's all right with you. It's all, this, this is what I want. So divine, it's not going to change it. Is up to you. I really want you to understand this. Because I get a lot of uh, letters. Where women are in these terrible situations. And they, they want to know. How to change him. You can't. You he, he will never change. Unless he decides. That he wants to change. But what you can do. Is to protect 
yourself by not continuing to be in the situation. It's as easy as that. You understand? Now, I, I know that, you know, you fall in love with the man and but so, and you have a soul tie with this man because, number one, you probably already had sex with him, which means that you are tied to him. You see? And whenever you try to break that tie, now you're missing him. You're, you're missing the good times that you had with him. You understand? And sometimes these good times were only in the beginning of the relationship. Now it's all bad. But in your mind, you still remember him in the good time stage. You see, women, women, don't do it. Don't do it. And if you're with a narcissist, he starts off with the good time, the love bombing. The love bombing. That's what you remember. You know, when he used to take you out and treat you nice and buy you things and treat you like a queen. The narcissist would do this just to tie you down, just to get you. And then the abuse would start, you see. And a lot of times women in these, in these relationships, even when the abuse starts, you make excuses for him. Oh, maybe he's having a bad day or, you know, it's hard at work and that's why he's doing this or whatever. You'll make all kinds of excuses. Because you don't want to look at the situation for what it really is. What it really is. If a man is abusing you in any kind of way. Or if he isn't living up to your expectations. Understand? You can discuss your concerns with him. And give him a chance to, to see if he's going to take heed. And try to correct those things. You can give him a little time. But if he doesn't. Realize. He hasn't changed. Because he doesn't want to. It's as simple as that. He doesn't want to. And. Many times. He doesn't feel. Like you're worth him changing. Okay ladies. Know your value. Know, know your value. He doesn't change because he doesn't feel you're worth it. You understand? You don't need to be with people like this. If a man is making you feel sad, bad, you know, unsupported, unloved, or any of those things, you don't need to be with him. You don't need to be with him at all now uh ladies i have pulled uh, a little video for us to watch uh before we get into these letters but uh this further explains uh why you can't change a man okay let's take a look here we go you gotta understand like certain men are just happy with getting by on bare minimum or just happy with accepting you know low-hanging fruit terms of you know the women that they deal with so you can't take a man like that and try to drag him up to where you are from a moral perspective it's going to be a rough ride i guarantee you you're going to lose yourself before that man turns into the person that you need him to be so as a woman you got to deal with men who are in the same headspace as you and things going to be 10 times easier it's not going to be as much clashing it's not going to be as much like you trying to finish raising him and things of that nature like it's not going to be that it's going to be, you know, hey, I'm on this wavelength. We're on the same wavelength. Let's progress. Because a lot of times, like, when we get into relationships with people who we not aligned with, we spend so much time trying to get on the same page that by the time we actually do get on the same page and start moving forward, both of us are drained. The cup is empty. Now, just like the fella said in the video, men have to decide that they want to change. You can't change them. And you can love them to death, support them to death, or whatever you want. You can't change a person. It's got to come within them that they decide they want to change. Okay? But now, let's let's look at some of these letters and see if it's something that we can find out. Okay? So, here we go. 
All right, this this letter is from a young lady, and she says, So I've been with my husband for 14 years and married for seven. When I first met him, he was in school and had great potential. Yeah, well, you know, men in school, they do have great potential. My first husband, I met him in school. <laughs> it was the worst. Okay, I stayed with him while he got his bachelor's degree. I was hoping he would be able to get a good job and help out more with bills. Okay, apparently, uh, you first met him in school, he got his BA, and you thought he would get a good job and, you know, be able to support. Long story short, he never pursued any of that and has just gotten jobs in town and local markets. Okay, it doesn't sound like he's really the ambitious type. Okay, I am his only transportation, so it is always on me to get him to work. I have been understanding and compassionate for so long, but now I'm just tired. I still pay a majority of the bills because he doesn't make enough. Ladies, ladies, this man makes less than you. Okay, that's a cautionary tale right there. He also does not help around the house or spend time with the kids. I have talked with him about the things that bother me and it always comes back to him feeling sorry for himself and how he regrets being it. Okay, you're saying something about the army here, so I guess he was a ve he's a veteran. He's a veteran. Okay. I'm tired, Miss Faye. It's not terrible, but it's not the best either. He hardly goes anywhere with me and the kids unless it's vacation. Only so he can get something. We have a small two-bedroom apartment because I refuse to get a house under his name so I can pay for it. Yeah, well, um, you marry. So if you get a house, it's both of your houses. You understand? But, you know, I understand your dilemma. I understand your dilemma here. But, like I said, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know, do you plan to spend the rest of your life in an apartment? Or do you desire a, a home? A house? You know, one that you can call your own. Now, with this man that you're with, and you've been married for seven years, if you love him the way he is now, he's not going to change. If you love him the way he is, and you continue, you want to be with him, okay? I would say go on and buy your house and be happy in it. But don't look for him to pay the bill. You understand? He may help you with the bill, you know, what he can, but he's not going to take it on. He's already showing you that he is not ambitious enough to want to go out and work hard to get these things. That's you. So you have a decision to make whether you want to continue your marriage or not. It's free will. You understand? Now, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not one to try to tear marriages apart or anything like that. But I want you to know that it is your free will. Whether you are willing to live out this situation or not. Understand? Now you say in a letter that you're in a two-bedroom apartment because you don't want to buy a house the way that he is. If you don't want to, then, you know, make a change. You make a change. It's on you. Whether you want to continue with this man or not. It's a simple decision. Now you have kids. You have children. But they can still be with their father without you living together or being married anymore. 
He's still their father, so he can still be with them or whatever. It's just that you won't feel like you dragging this dead weight with you as you try to progress. You understand? That's what it is. You want him to pick up the pace, but he's showing you who he is. And that's it. Don't expect this man to change. You understand? He is who he is. Now, you didn't tell me your ages or anything, you see, but I assume that, you know, you have kids, so I assume that you're kind of middle-aged or whatever. But, just like I said before, you can't change men. He will have to decide that he wants to change. Now, maybe he has a lot of other good qualities that can benefit you and the kids. But he's just not ambitious enough to go out here to try to find a better job, making more money so that you can uh, have the life that you want. It doesn't look like this is the man for that. It's your decision. That's what it boils down to. It's your free will. Whether you want to stay in this marriage or not. But believe me, I I believe in, in marriage. If it's happy and both people are being supported in the marriage, I, I totally agree with marriage. But if it's not, I do not agree in being miserable in a marriage. Okay, so it's, it's up to you to decide whether you want to continue with this or not. And I wish you the best. Okay, all right, let's go with another one. My ex has been blocking all of my suitors for 19 months now. Okay, this is another young lady. All right, your ex wants to keep you single if you're not going to be with him. He is like a sneaky weasel. Constantly watching me. I am 17 years older than him. All right. All right. I'm seeing the setup here. Our romantic journey started during the time he lived with me. I was recovering from some afflictions and he offered to move in to care for me plus pay for his space. All right. He kept my apartment spotless. Yeah, because he wanted to stay. The fridge and cabinets were always full, and he gave me money every day. We had an entanglement, and he thought I was his cougar. I declined. He got angry and left my apartment with my mobile phone. Okay, well, you know, this is what young lovers would do. They're young. They're still boys. You understand? And they act like spoiled kids when you take their toys away. So yeah, that's why he took your mobile phone to, to punish you so you couldn't make no calls or whatever. Four days later, he returned with the phone, which I had shut off there for. I didn't want it. About a year later, he showed up at my apartment and asked me if he could be my man and I be his woman. I accepted. And you say, Nark, nark, nark. I, I don't know about that. I don't know if he's a nark. We were supposed to marry and move out of the community. He called me one day and sang after seven, ready or not. And I've never seen him again until about a year later. <laughs> because he's young. He's a boy. He's not mature. You, you are... Messing with a child. And you looking for him to be a grown up? He's a child. Should I keep moving forward or should I take him back? If you want a repeat of what you had before, you can take him back. If you want a total repeat of what you had before, of him, you know, doing all these nice things for you because he's young, he'll give you what he has. But if you say no, to him he's going to retaliate because he's not mature he's too young for you you understand that's why i encourage women to uh date people closer to your own age 
to your own age so that you can kind of at least have the same life experiences. This man, 17 years younger, he doesn't have the same life experiences that you have. You see? And he's acting childish when you say no. Now, again, this is free will. And it's really up to you. But this man, the way that he's popping up, you know, after a year after and all of that, it sounds like, is he on drugs or something? You understand? Something about him is not stable emotionally. And it could be just because he's young. It, it could be just because he's just young and flighty and having a good time. And having a good time. I don't see a future in this man, if that's what you're asking. You, you can take him back, but that's your free will. You'll have the same thing with him that you had the last time. And maybe he won't be as nice to you this time. You never know. It's a risky gamble with this man. You understand? I think he's too young and he's too young minded. You see? And don't think that uh, if you go back with him, that it's going to be different. It could be different in a worse way. Okay? So that's my advice on that one. Again, you got free will. It's really up to you. But my advice is no. No, I don't I don't see it. I don't see it working. He's not emotionally stable. You see? So you need somebody closer to your age that has the same life experiences that you can understand each other. You understand? It really makes a difference. Okay. And I hope I hope that that uh, my advice helps you on that. So let's go to another letter. Now this one is about could a DL man fall in love with a woman and change for her or himself? Again, change. Let's read the letter. I used to work with a guy about six years ago. I was about the age of 39, 40 at the time. He's a little older than me, probably eight to ten years older. Physically, he's everything. I love in a man. Dark and thick, perfect height. Bow-legged, very fine. We would talk every now and then. I could tell that he was interested in me, and he probably knew that I had a crush on him. Yeah, men, men can sense that. There was another male co-worker there that I felt was suspect. But he wasn't out. So I guess you uh, thought that this man, this co-worker was gay, but he he wasn't out with his gayness yet. Okay, you say here that he had a gay brother that he bragged about because he was married to a rich man. Okay, now I suppose that you're talking about this man that you're interested in. He has a gay brother that he boasts about because his gay brother is with a rich man. Okay, I think I get it here. Anyways, he started giving this guy a ride home. So the man that you're interested in, start giving the man that you suspect is gay a ride home every day from work. Okay, I'm just trying to get it all together here. The co-worker also started to hate on me. He would just give me a hard time at work. This led me to believe that maybe they were messing around or something because the co-worker was acting jealous, just like another female. Well, <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, I was with a man on the DL, and this is how I kind of found out that he was gay. Because his boyfriend was acting just like this man. Acting like another jealous female when I was around. 
It was the same thing. Okay. This turned me off from the other guy. I decided to leave that job. I noticed that my last days working, the guy looked really sad and hurt because at that point, I had stopped giving him the attention that I used to. My last day, I did tell him goodbye. Just last year, sometime I started seeing him in different places. He would speak to me and he actually remembered my name. Okay, now this is the guy that you liked, but you suspected that he may be gay because if I understand this correctly, he has a gay brother and he used to give this other guy a ride home every day who you suspected was gay. Okay, I'm trying to get it all clear here. He would speak to me and actually remember my name. I would see him at both of my jobs. We would speak to each other. I know there's a woman in his life because he wires her money and I handle the transactions. Well, you don't know who this woman is. You don't know who this woman is that he is wiring money to. It could be his mother, could be his aunt, could be his sister, could be his cousin, could be anybody. You don't know who it is. Okay. I also know that he's attracted to me by the way he looks at me. But I know that he's not going to approach me because he's with someone and he knows that I know. Well, you are assuming all of this. You have not talked to the man or asked him these questions. And you can't really go on assumptions. Okay, but let's see what else you say here. This guy is not too talkative. He's very calm and quiet. I mean, I can't see him being nasty or yelling at anyone. Again, you are, are assuming all of this by just looking at someone. You can't do that. You don't know this man. You don't know who he is or what he is capable of by just seeing him in these rare occasions. He seems like a nice guy. He's always been respectful to me. Most DL men have that competition thing going on. I never got that from him, but in the back of my mind, I still think about what two gay men do together. But I believe that there are some spiritual things that can be done to be cleansed of such things if that person wants to change. I'm not looking to ask him out or anything like that. I would just like to know if you think a man could change from this type of behavior. Okay, here we go. Changing. Changing. Now, you like this man from afar. And please do not ask this man out. If he has not asked you out, then he is probably... He's, let's go with this. He is not interested. If he has not asked you out, I don't care how much he's looking at you, gazing into your eyes or anything like that. If he has not asked you out, there's a reason for that. He's not interested. Okay. He remembers your name. Probably You work together, so he remembers you, but that doesn't mean anything. He could be, he could be gay. He could be with another woman. It could be a number of things why he is not approaching you. But the bottom line is he is not interested at this time. Understand? And so now here you are asking questions. Can a man change? Only if he decides he wants to change. That's the only way he's going to change. If he decides in his heart that he wants to change. But now, you don't know what, <laughs> you don't know this man. You don't know if he's gay or not. You understand? So I'm just going to go with your question. Can a DL man change? Okay. Yeah. If he wants to change, and it is a spiritual thing. 
if he decides that the, he does not want to live like that anymore, he can change it. It's a choice. He was not born that way. It is a choice. You understand? So, a DL man can change if he decides that he wants. He does not want to live that lifestyle anymore. He can spiritually change and get rid of that demonic energy. But it's on him. You cannot change him. And you cannot do anything or say anything or be anything to make him change. It's got to come within him. And this is the point of, of this video. Women, don't go into these situations thinking that you can change a man. You can't. And if the man, I don't care how much he look at you and wink at you and whatever he does to you. If he does not approach you correctly, he's not interested. Not like that. He's got other things going on. He's not interested and you need to erase him out of your mind. And don't keep pining after an illusion. But that's that's what it is. It's an illusion. It's like it's like smoke. It's like smoke. You see? Direct your attention to something else. Direct. If, um, if I suspected a man to be on the DL, I would not give him the time of day just, just, just to even suspect it. You understand? Now, if he approached me, that would give me an opportunity to ask him, Are you gay? Are you on the DL? Are you a heterosexual? Now, now this is a tricky thing because I did meet a man after um after uh being with the DL man, then I became suspicious of everybody. And uh the next man that I met, I asked him straight out. I mean, as soon as he approached me, I asked him, "Are you a heterosexual?" And he said, "Yes." Okay, but as I spent more time with him, all of a sudden, another man appeared. Another man appeared to be his best friend. His be they were best friends for years and years and years. And he lived across the street from him. And the man that I was interested in would always brag about what good friend this man is to him. And how they go hunting together and go everywhere together and be together and whatever. When I finally met the man, he showed that he was jealous of me being with this man. He showed it. He showed it. And um, I asked the man that I was interested in about it. And he says... Um, yeah, well, he asked me who you were and, and he'd been looking out the window and he sees your car and all this kind of stuff. And I'm saying, wait a minute. Why is this man so interested in what you're doing with a woman? Why is he so interested? And the man that lived across the street happened to be married. Happened to be married. And the man that I'm trying to date tells me that this man moved out of the bedroom he shared with his wife to a bedroom where he could look out the window and see who's at his house, the man's house that I'm interested in. So he, the other man could look out his window and see who's coming to this man's house, the man that I'm interested in. You understand? which was really probably his boyfriend. He was jealous of anybody who was interested in his boyfriend. And so I told the man that I'm interested in, well, if he's acting like this, it's, it, it's, it's good that you ain't have sex with him. And he, 
He was shocked when I said that. Shocked when I said that. Because I had hit the nail on the head. I had hit the nail on the head. You see, this is to show you that men will lie. They will lie about this. Because the DL man is undercover. He doesn't want anybody to know. He doesn't want anybody to know that he is gay. You understand? That's why you need to be so very careful about these people. Very careful. You see? And take your time with them. Be watchful. Now, if you suspect that this man you're interested in is on the DL, then you probably don't need to be bothered with him. Why would you want to? I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what he does. You see? And uh, if he is a narcissist, if he's a covert narcissist, then he's an introvert. And you say he's not talkative. He may be an introvert. You understand? Take your time. But women, I just want you to know you can't change a man. You can't change him. If if you have a man that you're taking care of, you know, you're supporting him financially, physically, or whatever, he's not going to change. That's why he's with you. Because he wants to be taken care of. You understand, ladies? Guard yourself against this. I just want you to understand this message that you cannot Change a man. No matter what you do. The man has got to decide. That he wants to change. And then the change will be permanent. Because he's decided within himself. That he doesn't want to live a certain lifestyle anymore. And he will change. You understand? So it is possible. For a person to change. But they have to want it. Not you. Okay, so here we go. For those of you who would like for me to answer your questions, send your letters to MissFaysWorld at Hotmail.com. Here it is. Send them to MissFaysWorld at Hotmail.com. And I will either answer your letter through the email or I will read it and answer it online. Now that's up to you. If you decide that you just want an email response, then just say it at the top of your letter that you'd like an email response and it really saves some time. And try to keep your letters to one page. Just give me a brief summary of the situation and ask your question and I will get back to you. Okay? And uh, be patient because your response will be coming either way through the email or I will uh, answer it online. And those that I plan to answer online, I will send you an email that says when it will air and in what video. Now, don't be confused by the video title. If I say it's within the video, then watch the video. And your response will come up somewhere in the video. Okay? So, I hope that you all understand that. And I wish you all well. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your letters. And thank you for your donations. I appreciate you so very much. I, I wish you all well. I wish you happiness. And I hope to see you next time.